Today, national security experts, government officials, and researchers were on the Rellis campus getting a firsthand look at the new counter drone technology. The George H.W. Bush Combat Development Complex playing a critical role in its testing. Donnie Tuggle was there and has more. Last year, more than 10,000 drones invaded the Rio Grande Valley. U.S. Customs says 15,000 more were detected as a potential threat to national security. Here at the George H.W. Bush Combat Development Complex, leaders are working to advance critical national security and counter drone technology. John Diem is the director of the Innovation Proving Ground. We have to stay ahead of the technologies uh, that are available available to go out and buy. Theory's great, but our job is to be that next step past three theory for real current threats to our, our security and our way of life. Experts say drones play a huge role in human trafficking, smuggling, and more. The counter drone technology being developed by industry experts and tested at Relis will mitigate threats by identifying, disabling, and taking over drones without collateral damage. It gives authority time to get to the operator because they have no idea that they're being tracked. And the second part is when we actually then take it over, we do it in a safe way because we give it a set landing spot. Our system continuously learns uh, the signals that are, that are generated by those, those threat drones um, so that we can identify, catalog, and eventually put it into a library so that we can mitigate those, um, those threats. As those threats evolve, experts here say their research will continue to do the same. The drones, how the drones are used, the type of drones, that's never going to stop evolving. How we're going to defeat those is never going to stop evolving, and that means we can't stop evolving and have to stay ahead of that, that technology challenge. Donnie Tuggle, News 3.